It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Medici the Card Game. Medici the Card Game here is a, a modern game, if I'm not mistaken, as in brand new game, based, of course, on the Medici line of games. These, the flag game being just Medici. This is still from Reiner Knizia, same designer as the original game. And the game is going to play largely like the original game. It's a game in which you are collecting goods and then you are scoring those goods in comparison to the other players. You play a few rounds, you collect money, whoever has the most money, whoever is the richest at the end of the game is the winner. But the way in which you take the cards in this game is very different, the goods rather, very different from the original Medici. So this will make a little more sense to those of you that are familiar with the original game, which was a bidding game. Uh, but I'm going to give you an overview anyway, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Then we're going to come on back, and I'll tell you what I think of it, if it works well for me. And I'll compare it just a little bit more to the original game, because I think that'll be valuable for some of you. Curious about this, but not sure if it's different enough, if it's necessary, all that good stuff. So here we go. So here's what you get with the game. You get a few player aids. There are enough for all the players around the table. You get some shiny money and you get a deck of cards, which is the, the heart of the game. The idea is you are going to be flipping over cards, loading goods onto your ships, and then unloading those goods at the warehouse. You do that three days, the game is three rounds, and then at the end, whoever has the most money is the winner of the game. And you're going to be comparing step one here, the values of the ships, and then step two of scoring is the goods in the warehouse compared to other people around the table, seeing if you have more and better goods than they do. So here's how it goes. Let's say it's the beginning of the game. On my turn, I am going to flip over a card here, and the card is going to have a couple of pieces of information usually. In this case, this card counts as two symbols, two goods of that wheat resource, okay? And so that's my first flip. Now, if I want to, I can stop flipping over cards right now, take this, load it onto my ship, and it's the next player's turn to start revealing cards and take some things. But let's say I don't want to do that. And by the way, my ship has a capacity of five cards, five, uh, you know, goods I can load onto it. Even if they're double goods, it's still a single card. So let's say I flipped one, I'm going to continue flipping cards. Now this card here is one spice, but it also has a value towards my ship scoring, meaning step one here of scoring. And so if I want to, I can stop now and I could take this card. You always have to take the last one revealed, but I could also take this one at the same time. So yes, I could load both of this, these in a, in a single shot, but I'm gonna keep pushing and I can flip up to three cards. That's it. After the third one, I have to stop and take some cards. So I'll flip over that one and that is the same good as this card here. However, as you can see, the banner is green, and green is not one of the goods. What the green banner dictates or denotes is that loading this onto my ship does not occupy one of those five spaces on the ship. So I'm gonna stop now, and I'm gonna take, I can take this one, I have to take this one. I could take these two, I could take all three, I could even just take these two. I have access to three cards deep. And so I'm gonna take this one and this one, I'm gonna load them on my ship. This one stays there for the next player. This takes up a spot on my ship, this one does not. So I'll just put it sideways like that to remind me, hey, you've only loaded one thing technically. Next player goes. Now, the next player, if since there are cards revealed, does not even have to flip. They can just take this and go away, but they are going to start flipping. And, and you should offset them slightly to remind you that once you've flipped yourself this round, because you'll get to flip over three. So they'll flip over that one, and they're pretty happy with that. They're going for a, a high scoring ship. So they're gonna stop and take these two and load them on their ship. It's the next player's turn. They'll flip, they don't want that. They'll flip again. Now this card here with the, the dark uh, insignia there, the, the stamp, what that means is this one has no goods at all but it'll make your ship very valuable. It's a seven. 
However, that means you don't put it in the warehouse. The, the black symbol there just means after we score the ship and you unload at the warehouse, this just goes away. Uh, so this player is going to flip again, and now they'll take the last two. And they would actually, they would like to just take this one, let's say, but they have to take the last one flipped. Comes back over to me. This continues until all the players but one have loaded five cards onto their ship. And then that last player gets one more go, and then the round is over and we score, okay? So let's say I'm just going to score comparing two players here. Let's say this player got that and that and that. That's what they've got. Uh, and now we compare ship values first. So we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17 for them. And that's the, the first scoring here for the value of the ship. And I have, so they have 17 and I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's say it's a game with four players, and let's say this is first and I'm second. The other players are all lower than that. Well, they're going to get 30 coins, so they'll take their 30 there, put that in their bank, and I get 20 for second place, and then third place gets 10, fourth place gets nothing, and that's all, again, according to the scoring there. Once that's done, we take a look at the second card here, and we uh, check out the goods. The goods are unloaded at the warehouse. They are added to any previous goods that the players have of the matching kinds here. And we compare those. I'm gonna unload this, I'm gonna unload that. This one has one of those dark symbols, so it's gone. And there we go. And now we go down the line here, comparing the different things, and it's very simple. You take a look at how many you have. If you have the most, you are going to get 10 from the bank. Second place gets five. There are rules for resolving ties. And also, if you have quite a few of them in the game, you get a bonus 10 for that scoring. And so, for example, between three and six players, if I already have five of these symbols, I get a bonus 10 coins from the bank. And then this all stays there. We shuffle these back in, anything that remained in the line, and the ones with the dark uh, seals there. That gets shuffled back into the deck, and we play through day two. Starting from whoever has the lowest uh, amount of money at that point, they will be the star player. And we do it again, and then a third time, at which point we figure out who's got the most money, and whoever does is going to be the winner of the game. So there you have it, that's Medici the card game. Let's take a look at my target audience system, starting with the first T for thematic ties. Uh, thin, 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 thin. Medici has always been thin. Reiner Knizia's games tend to not be super thematic. Um, so it doesn't matter, you know, you're collecting spices and silks and, and blue dye and stuff. Eh, you know, it's just symbols and numbers. That's what it boils down to and it's, to me, not really appealing. So I don't care for the theme. Aesthetics, however, which is my next point here, really are very high. The game has fantastic artwork from Vincent Dutrade, and the, the amount of artwork in it is also very nice. There's quite a few different illustrations in it. Not every card is different or anything like that, but there is a lot here to sort of be enchanted by as you sit around the table flipping over cards and looking at the beautiful artwork. Uh, it ties with the theme a little bit, which again, I find boring, but the artwork is very nice and kind of elevates it for me a little bit. The quality of the components, which I tie into the aesthetics, is for the most part very good. Cards are really great quality. Coins are pretty good, except for, and this is probably my biggest gripe here with the whole game, I don't like the size of the coins. Here I have a 50 coin. Uh, there's a 50. And you have a 10 here, which is just slightly smaller. That's a 10. And then a 5, which is minuscule. I'm not even sure if you can see it. It's, it's smaller than the print on my thumb. Way too tiny. No reason why these had to be that small. It's a huge difference from a 10. Not really happy about that. I wish they would have, if they really wanted to make them different sizes, make it just a hair smaller, like the 50 to the 10. If they kept this scale, this 50 would be about that big. So uh, it seems weird to me. Uh, so there you have it. That's aesthetics. The replayability in the game, which also includes scalability, uh, it's, it's okay. I don't think this is one I'm going to be playing over and over and over again. 
the push your luck in it is neat, but I think eventually I'm not going to be as captivated by it. But it does scale well, and so, you know, it, it, Medici I thought scaled pretty well anyway. Usually, I mean, towards the higher end, it's a little bit better. But it scales fairly well, and I've enjoyed it with the lower play count and with the higher play count. But replayability is ultimately all right. The game length is my next point here, and this is pretty good. The game length is three rounds. It's, there's not a lot of downtime because as opposed to in Medici where you had the bidding and people sometimes sat around thinking, hmm, I don't know if this is worth 12 that you're already bidding or if I want to go up to 13. And 13 might be too, you have some of that stuff. In this one, the pusher luck makes it a little more, ooh, what am I going to flip over, you know? And so it, it tends to feel a little faster than the original Medici to me, though really you're doing about the same stuff. You play three rounds, you fill up ships that take five cards. It's very similar in, in its scope and its vibe, but it feels faster to me. That's possibly an illusion, but there you go. Ease of play, fiddliness, age appropriateness. Um, I would certainly not try this out with the kids, not because uh, I don't think there's anything that they couldn't handle, but I'm not sure anything in it would be particularly captivating to them, but you certainly could. The fiddliness comes in with those tiny little five coins, but other than that, the game is very straightforward. Collecting sets is, is easy. The color choices that they made in the game also make it very easy to see what you're collecting, how many of something you have. And so the game I would consider to be very easy to play. And finally, tactics and strategy and luck. There's some luck in this, just like in the original Medici. You are flipping over cards. In the original, you were making sets and then auctioning off that set, but you were pushing your luck. Because if you flipped over a card and you didn't want to auction off that card by itself, you had to flip over another one and auction off the lot. And then you could even do it again for three cards. In this one, you're doing a similar thing, except you're flipping over your own cards, taking just for you yourself. I like that you have access to three cards deep, and so flipping over a new one means you have to take that new one, but you could skip one in between and just take the third. And I enjoy that aspect of it. That's, that's an interesting idea, interesting twist. And the strategy certainly is there. If you, if you want to focus on one thing, start scoring those higher bonuses, right? That you can certainly do. You want you can look around the table and see what everyone is doing. You can go strong with getting high-valued ships, even though you'll be hurting in the uh, the different goods. You can choose which way you want to do it. You know, do a little bit of everything, whatever. But it's there and it's interesting. Um, comparing this to Medici, the original Medici, which which by the way, Grail Games, the company that put this out, has also recently reprinted. I enjoy this considerably more than Medici. Medici is really, really dry. And you are auctioning and auctioning and auctioning. You do it a lot. And while it's, and it has a great look as well, but I just find that to be a little more pedantic maybe than what you're doing in this game. Ultimately, same scoring system, same concept really. But the idea that you have a little more control over your turn, that you can push your luck, I just think the flipping over cards and pushing your luck is a better distribution system than the incessant bidding in Medici. Medici is an okay game for me. This one's pretty good. And so I would recommend if you enjoy Medici, if you want something that's a little more, that feels anyway, a little more fast and loose, feels a little more fun perhaps, that you check out Medici the card game. I enjoyed it and I would recommend it. This one gets a, a seal of approval from me which I did not give to Medici, but Medici, the card game, does get it. It's a neat little game. Uh, look into it, and if you enjoy this style of Euro game, I think maybe it's one you want to add to your collection. So again, seal of approval for Medici, the card game. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.